and without one nickel, I can make a trip to Barbados that costs someone, costs the family, well over a thousand dollars. In those days, a dollar was really two or three dollars when it comes to buying things. And see, it all adds up. In the end, it all adds up. So I had the most fabulous trip all the way down and came back to fulfill my friend's prophecy. You would have died. And I did. I died to escape. Not the immortal man cannot die. But I didn't realize I was locked in a state until I began to sleep in another state. And sleeping in another state, that state became the reality. And the old state that could not eat fish or fowl or meat or eggs or anything delighted in eating fish and fowl and all the things that the other one couldn't do. So every state is right for itself. And so until one gets out of a state, don't try to hit him over the head, he can't hear you. He knows what he is doing is the only truth, the only reality. So where is it? All in your own wonderful human imagination. That is God. And created the tree of knowledge of good and evil and came down in the world of experience. And there are only two things in the entire 66 books of Scripture that displeases God. You can read from beginning to end and you will not find more than two that truly displeases God. And one is lack of faith in I am He. And the other is eating of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. Now we all have eaten of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I know I have. But the whole vast world yawns and turns away from that belief that I am He. So the lack of faith in I am He and eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil are the two things that this pleases God, as mentioned in Scripture. I can't find the third one. I find no third, only these two. So be still and know that I am God. As we are told, unless you believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. So the I am in you is your own wonderful human imagination. And you can put it any place in the world. You need not be anchored to where your senses tell you that you are. Now let me speak tenderly to a lady who is here. She wants to sell a home. You can't sell the home if night after night you sleep in their home. You have to sleep elsewhere. Mentally, I do not mean physically. Physically, I slept in a basement on 75th Street in New York City. But in my imagination, I slept in my mother's home in Barbados. And within six weeks, I was in my mother's home in Barbados. And then I had not a nickel towards the venture, which cost well in well in excess of a thousand dollars. And it was all made available as a gift. It was not a loan. It was a gift. If you want to sell that home, seriously, you have to actually let it go in your imagination and sleep as you would sleep and where you would sleep if you had sold it. And then night after night sleep in that state. Where else would you sleep if you have sold it? Unless you want to re-rent a room in your place, which is not what you want to do. So I say to everyone, if you know who Jesus Christ is, you are free. The day will come, you will know he really is the Father. And that day is the most thrilling day imaginable, when David in spirit calls you Father. Now, I didn't bring a watch tonight, so I do not know what time it is, but now we're going to the silence.